Yo, top billing. Your boy is back with a little film study on my main man, Adam Anderson from the University of Georgia. And keeping up with the theme and talking about certain individuals that could perhaps be the number one overall pick in the 2022 draft. I have to throw my hat in the ring for your boy, Adam Anderson, because this kid is an absolute freak, an absolute freak. Six foot five, 230 pounds, I believe he's listed at now. Uh, the guy has some room to grow in his frame, but he does not have any room to go as far as his talent level goes, man, because sky is the limit for this guy. And he's only been part time, right? A part time duty guy is going into his fourth year on campus. I'm not sure what he's listed at if he was a, um, a red shirt or anything like that, but definitely draft eligible. And as a matter of fact, if Georgia had kind of a pared down rotation, he would very well be in this 2021 draft. And I would have to say that he would be the most talented pass rusher out of everybody that's in the draft. Um, probably right there with his former teammate, Aziz Ojolari. So to me, that should have been the move right there. Uh, way too much Jermaine Jackson or whatever. I will, I'm sorry, we can't do that joke no more. Way too much Jermaine Johnson. I thought Jermaine Johnson was a, a pretty decent player, right? He has some moments there um, with his pass rush for a few games. But to me, he was one of those guys that uh, he could give you maybe one good play a game or something like that. Adam Anderson's one of these guys, right? He could be a volume sack guy. He could give you three and four sacks because he's that explosive. His motor is crazy and everything like that. And also way too much Nolan Smith. Now, Nolan Smith is a guy I know everyone loves. He was the number one overall player in his class in the 2019 class. Kid obviously has loads of potential. At least he did at the high school level, but it has not translated at the collegiate level. And you would be hard pressed to find anybody who's neutral that say that he is a better edge player than Adam Anderson, who also was a five star in the 2018 cycle. So it's not like we're talking about somebody who's a, a projection type or something like that. He came with a ton of hype himself, but nothing like Nolan Smith had. So if it was Aziz Ojolari and Adam Anderson, we should have we could have saw some crazy sack numbers. But with that being said, my man still had, if you look right here, six and a half sacks. Six and a half sacks on higher gun duty, meaning coming in on money downs mostly. Six and a half sacks, 12 solo tackles. Now, we're going to have to see this man right being the guy here where a lot of attention can be paid to him, seeing if he can both be a base down player, hold up against the run. He does not look slight to me. I know he's he's weighing about 230 pounds, but I saw this kid when he was in high school. He came to uh, my big bro's uh, True 19 event. And he looked like the skinniest dude I think I had ever seen, for real. He looked Ethiopian, Somalian, send some money in for this dude. <laughs> he looked like we had to send him in because he was malnourished. We had to send him $25 a month or something like that. He looked like he was 180 pounds. Uh, he looks like he's grown the, grown into his frame right now, man. If he could get to 240, 250 pounds, he would definitely be a candidate. Like if there's no number one overall pick at quarterback, which I think there is in Sam Howell in North Carolina and some other guys who could vie for that position. But if not him, it's definitely this guy right here. This is the dude right here who I'm I'm likening him to. This is the number one overall pick if there's not a quarterback at number over, number one overall. Kayvon the Decepticon. Kayvon Thibodeau from the University of Oregon is a damn animal. He had nine sacks as a freshman. He was in the 2019 class. So he's draft eligible now. Remember, they had a pared down season over there, Oregon. I uh, didn't play, what, seven something games or something like that. He had three sacks, but he's crazy against the run. He's a complete player. Motor and everything is framed. 6'5, 250. That's what the NFL looks for. I think they're going to start valuing these guys with six foot five, and that could be these six technique base ends, a little bit more than the outside linebacker types. That's why Adam Anderson, to me, uh, makes sense in that vein, but he also plays outside linebacker, so he has scheme versatility. I believe Kayvon Thibodeau could do it as well, but, man, ain't much you can say about that. Those two guys battling. Got to give a shout-out to Nick Benito as well from Oklahoma, some of these guys who are draft eligible, and some others across the land here. But Adam Anderson, that is that dude. So without further ado, man, let's look at some Adam Anderson getting after it, all right? What more can I say? Top billing. Top. Going into the Tennessee game, I remember thinking before the game, like, man, I cannot wait to see Adam Anderson go against his former 2018 classmate or his cycle mate, 
K.A. Mays, who has since transferred to the University of Tennessee because I know they got it on in practice. Pause. But this is some shit K. Mays wasn't prepared for. Look at that. Cement feet. Come on. You can't have cement feet messing around with your boy Adam Anderson right here. See, this is when sometimes it pays to be an ex Somalian because it gives you less surface area. You can see me shot out of a cannon. Look at that get off, first and foremost. Look at him compared to everybody else right on the snap right here. That's great football intelligence, but that's that great reactiveness. Look at him. He's already off. You can see Trayvon Walker, Warren Brinson, looks like Aziz over here. Not quite with the reaction time off the gun there. But K. May trying to work inside out because he's concerned with possibly a second-level sin here by N'Kobe Dean, and that's all it took. One inside-out look, he was not able to recover. And K. Mays is a talented dude, no doubt about that, but this right here was a bad rep by him. You can see him getting way too skinny. Now he's in FEMA mode trying to recover. And look at Adam Anderson. This is what I want you to pay attention to. This is what will make NFL people straight salivate. You talk about ankle flexion. Giving somebody small surface area. Just look at this. Like, who's doing that right here? Check this out. Coming around right here. Look at the ankle flexion and the bendability right here. Almost like Gumby with it. Nothing to hit right there. You know who has that type of ankle flexion, man? Your boy Michael Jackson in that Smooth Criminal video. He had some serious ass ankle flexion. And your man Smooth Criminal right here, Adam Anderson, doing the same type of shit. Easy easy work and he forced to fumble with it too man come on now y'all know what i'm about to say that's hard going against auburn here a repeat of the last thing about him right now is he's scary because he's just out athleting people right he just has a little bit more twitchiness to himself a little bit more muscle fibers he can lean on there but once he gets and develops second and secondary and tertiary pass rush moves man He's going to be hell on wheels. But look at this. What are you going to do with this? Look at that. He makes people go into FEMA mode almost right away. He's barely on his third or fourth stride. And my man's already in recovery mode, abandoning technique, right? He pulled a parachute and just has to reach out and touch somebody, right? He's just like, you know what, man? Let's, let me get a penalty on this one. This dude is shot out of a cannon. Of course, once again, that ankle flexion on display there. Taking those wide steps at the top of his rush just to give you a smaller surface area to hit and to run that arc and bend the corner right here. So a little bit of a face mask, right? Spent his shit like the exorcist there. He's he's working with a little bit of a mini concussion, we got to admit. Look at that. Spent this shit all bad. So that's a penalty, and he still gets the Bo Nicks right here. Come on. It could have been probably cleaner than that had the, the penalty not happened. Bo Nicks tried to – he tried to do the little okey-doke here. Let me just uh, throw the ball and say that somebody was in the area, even though they're 40 yards away or whatever like that. Hell of a rush right there, man. One more time, full speed. Mm. Come on. Y'all have to tell me who's dipping like that, man. Von Miller, he used to dip like that. He's got a couple of inches on Von Miller in height. All right, this time, rushing from the blind side here. This is a special move. He in with a hesitation crossover. Ooh, look how quick that is. That's when people are afraid of your outside approach, and they really overcommit to the outside. See him right here looking like he's going to run the yard. So this is a secondary move right here. Still a finesse move, though. Secondary move. Look at that. Ankle flexion. Hit him with the Allen, the Allen Iverson crossover, the AI cross on him. Right, broke his shit. Look at that. He reacted just like Michael Jordan did too when AI hit him with that cross. I hit with the baby cross and then the full one. Uh, hit him with the full crossover. Your yeah, man, once again, they had to try to hold. <laughs> had to try to hold and it still doesn't work there. Breaks through and then he centers up and he's still explosive. Now look at those long arms. That's what having long arms will get you too, right? Bo Nix. When you take those inside pass rush moves against mobile quarterbacks like Bo Nix, right, they can just escape to the outside. But, man, Bo Nix keeping his eyes downfield, great job downfield. Nobody's open. Bo Nix can't escape as good of an athlete as he is. Boom. Come on, Bo Nix. He going to do it again. Try to throw the ball here. He said that somebody was in the area, right? He said he either wanted to throw it to Coach Smart or he was trying to throw it to the ref. Any one of those to get that man Adam Anderson off his ass. <laughs> Come on, man. Rushing off the right side of the offensive line. Now, this time he converts speed to power. 
and it becomes a prison rap. Look at this. Oh, oh, uh, almost like a almost like a bull rush. Got to see the move that he takes right here. Wish he had it from the other side. It looks like he's kind of running the arc. And, of course, the guy overcommits. He overcommits and damn near. And he turns his back. <laughs> he overcommits. He turns his back. Come on, man. He gave up his back. Come on. You never give up your back in MMA. You definitely don't give up your back in prison. Whoa. So this is a prison rep right here. He's done. Right? And then the quarterback, he has no chance. <laughs> We can see a little bit closer here. They didn't have a good replay on it. They were already in progress. But you see right here, damn, that's my boy uh, Dylan Wanham, ain't it? Come on, Dylan Wanham, that's my dude. Oh, Adam Anderson with the prison rep on Wanham pushes him out the way, right? He's like, no, no. He's like, come here. I like you and I want you. <laughs> and that was it. Damn, he fumbled easy. Come on, man. You can't... What type of fumble was that? From a mad heart. Shit went 30 feet away too. That's crazy. That's a hell of a rep right there, right? So it's still within the finesse scope there, but he's able to convert speed to power just by people being afraid of being run by. Fabricated pressure scheme. It looks like a whole bunch of guys could be coming, but it's just going to be a four-man rush. You have N'Kobe Dean lined up on the blind side right here like he's going to rush. He drops back to hook zone. You have Nolan Smith over here coming from the nines. He's coming. You have Devontae Wyatt at a shade here. He's taking an outside approach. Malik Heron, same deal right here. He almost replaces right there. He ends up going against the center. And then you have my man right here, Adam Anderson. He gets to go against the guard here. It's almost like a three-man weave. And they almost goofed on this one, I remember, during the telecast right here. They said something about Nolan Smith, but this was clearly Adam Anderson. Look at that. Friction block having to work with there on the inside, coming at like a three technique. See it right here? That's that's, that's skill on skill right here, right? Let's who leverage wins, right? Low man on the totem pole there. He gets his pad level down. Kind of gives him half a man right here. Keeps going with that leg drive there. Oh, man, he's driving Miss Daisy. Drive this man all the way back and then disengages right there. Then those long arms of the law, I'm not sure what happened to the quarterback right here. Right, The quarterback had vertigo. He got nauseous and just fell down right there. Adam Anderson all over it. That's his sack right there. Then Nolan Smith come a little bit late to the party right there. Try to get him one right there, a cheap one. But that's all and Adam Anderson. They ended up getting giving it solely to Adam Anderson there. So good rush. Get to see him do something different there. See it one more time in full speed. Love the late ad. All kinds of confusion on that fabricated blitz package scheme there. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.